Oh my god, it's here! This one is uh, the most popular question. So it's quite big. For now it will remain a mystery. Yeah. Actually he sent us a picture yesterday from a beach. Come on. Let's go. Let's make tea. Hi guys, I'm Tommy and I'm Peter. Welcome back to our channel. So we already posted more than 20 videos on our channel yeah. and over the time we received a lot of questions on all the videos in the comment section. So we decided that we would film a video where we try to answer as many questions as possible. Mm -hmm. So we, we went through all the comments, we read them all. As you know, we replied to all the comments as well. And uh, we have the questions here. So I think we can get to it. Yeah. As you may have probably guessed, it's morning here, <laughs> that's why we are in the bed. We decided to answer a few questions from here and then we will continue answering as we move on with our day. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so I will read the first question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were asked this a few times. Are you guys married? Yeah, so we are technically not married because in the Czech Republic gay marriage is not legal mm -hmm. uh, but we have a registered partnership here it's like a civil union mm -hmm. of two people yeah. uh, so it's legal, it's official we signed the papers and we considered us to be married yeah, we, we call each other husband to make it easier for other people because it takes time to explain the situation otherwise. Yes. <laughs> and I don't like the word partner that much. Yeah, it sounds uh, unofficial. Yeah. Most of the time I would say my man. Yeah. For me he's <laughs> my man. Yeah. <laughs> but once it becomes legal we will get married properly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so second time. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a test and then we can do it. Yeah, better. <laughs> okay, a follow-up question. How long have you been married? So, we have been in this registered partnership for almost five years. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be five years in September. Yeah, it was September 2015. Yeah. Should I don't be... even remember the exact date. <laughs> yeah. Because it wasn't that... Like, it was important, but not really because nothing changed in no. our relationship right i think we're gonna film a separate video about the whole thing and the experience it could be interesting yeah it's an interesting story so watch this space watch this space and <laughs> we'll tell you everything yeah. i think this this one is uh, the most popular question mm -hmm. how old are you <laughs> oh my god i think we are asked this on every video yeah so we are old, <laughs> could be younger. Yeah, so I am 36. And I'm 34. Yeah. But usually people guess uh, that Peter is uh, younger than 34. Yay. I, I saw one of the, in one of the comments, someone was saying that you look too young to have a master's degree. Oh, I love <laughs> it. Yeah, which would be 25 to get it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I got my master's degree at 24. Oh, so young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and even just a few years ago, uh, I remember Peter was asked in a restaurant if he's an adult. <laughs> yeah. When, when he ordered some alcohol. Yeah. Uh, it's legal to drink alcohol here at 18. Yeah. <laughs> so that was kind of them. Yeah, you were like 32, I think, and they asked you if you're 18 already. Yeah, it was cute. <laughs> yeah. They don't ask me these questions for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> because you look so manly and adult. It's because I don't drink alcohol. I am a child. <laughs> and Tommy, yeah, Tommy doesn't drink alcohol much. So, so, so. So the next question is, what do you do for work? I was talking about my work in our previous videos a bit, but Tommy hasn't yet. So. Come on. 
Yeah, so Peter already mentioned that, that he's a meteorologist mm -hmm. in our Boyfriend Tech video. Right? Yeah. And so I do weather forecasting for our area. I love weather, I love thunderstorms, I love watching them, and it's fun. <laughs> for you, yes. It's not fun for Tommy because I always show him like, look at the radar, the thunderstorm is coming and everything and he's always like, oh my god, don't start with this again. Yeah, but like how often do you need to see a cloud out of the window? <laughs> Come on. But it's fun to, to watch Peter uh, when, when a storm is coming or something, he, get, he becomes a child is like running uh, from one window to the other window and it's like, oh my god, it's here! Yeah, because it's great! <laughs> great stuff! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like that about my job. So, tell us, what is your job? Yeah. So, I work as a service manager at a big, huge IT company that everybody knows. But I just don't want to mention the name because then in, in or our videos, I would have to say that all opinions are my own and not of my employers. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm a service manager. It's a... What does it mean? So it's, a, it's an office job, basically. But the cool thing is that I can work from home as well, partially. And especially since the whole quarantine and stuff started, I, I've been working from home non-stop for four months now, I think. And I like working from home, so... Yeah. Right, the next one is for you. Mm -hmm. Peter, are you going to drive too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Tommy uh, has learned recently how to drive again. Yeah. Because we got our car. It's an old car. It's my brother's car. We actually don't own it. Yeah. But he doesn't use it. So Tommy started driving again. Uh, I have my driver's license, but I haven't driven since I was 18 or 19 years old. So I forgot everything and I am afraid to drive. Mm -hmm. It was always complicated uh, for me with the transmission, the, because every car here has a manual transmission, or not every car, but it's like 90% yeah. or something standard. like that. It's a, it's a standard here. And for me, it was like one thing I always have to think about and it distracted me from watching the surroundings and everything. So I never got into driving, but yeah, the old car will go out of service <laughs> next year. Yeah. Then we will probably buy a new car and we were talking about that we should buy uh, automatic transmission. So maybe then we'll see. So the next question, uh, what's the current coronavirus situation in our country? It's great. <laughs> yeah. Basically the virus disappeared, mm -hmm. almost. There are still some cases every day, but it's under control at the moment and pretty much all the restrictions have been lifted. Mm -hmm. So actually now when you go out, it's like it never happened. Yeah. Everything is back to normal. Yeah. And you can even travel within the European Union yes. and everything. So yeah, people go on vacation. Yeah, so it, it feels kind of like, like a nightmare or, or a dream you wake from. Mm -hmm. So we remember that there was some something called coronavirus, but uh, it's just not truly really a topic anymore. Yeah, but there is always this uncertainty if it comes back or yeah. gets worse or something. So yeah, we are waiting for the second wave now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the first wave is over. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to move on with the day now? Yeah, okay. I think it's time to get out of bed <laughs> and we will continue with the questions later. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's make tea. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, we will continue with more questions, but first we wanted to thank you all guys for commenting on the videos and asking the questions because we love reading them and we yeah. love answering. Yeah. So thank you and don't be afraid to ask us what you, what you would like to know and uh, maybe in future we can do another similar video where we answer more questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I want to thank you for all the support uh, on my coming out video, like all the response. So thank you guys. So the next question was, what size is your land? Not this one, not this <laughs> land. <laughs> Not this kitchen land, but, but the country house, house land, yeah. So country house land is 6,000 square meters. Uh -huh. How much is it? Yeah, we had to calculate it uh, and it was about 1.5 acres, mm -hmm. I think. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Yeah. More than one. Yeah, <laughs> we have more than one of something, which is great. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so it's quite big, uh, but we want it. Mm -hmm. Large property. We will tell you why in one of our next videos, <laughs> right? Yeah. For now it will remain a mystery. Yeah. Okay, do you want to read the next one? Mm -hmm. Number eight. Yeah, so next question. Is your country tolerant of gay couples? Yes. <laughs> no, but we are quite fortunate, I think, to live here in the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm because our country is quite liberal when it comes to these things mm -hmm. at least compared to our other uh, Slavic uh, neighbors yeah yeah uh, so uh, yeah most people are okay with it it's not really a big topic I would say like when people find out we're a gay couple they don't really say anything mm -hmm. it's quite normal I guess I don't know we don't show uh, our affection for each other in public, mm -hmm. like we don't hold hands in the yeah. city center and stuff like that. We don't like drawing attention, yeah. really. Yeah, I think it's fine, especially compared to Slovakia or Poland, where mm -hmm. these, these countries are quite anti-gay. Yeah. The good thing about our country is that it's, it's very atheistic. Mm -hmm. So most people here are not religious, mm -hmm. and I think that helps with being more liberal. Yeah, people are like... Whatever. Whatever, <laughs> yeah, like whatever. Which is great for me, I like the whatever approach. <laughs> okay, so uh, a similar question is, uh, are your neighbors aware that you are a gay couple? That's a good question. <laughs> we haven't told them, but I think it's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, two guys bought a place together and live together and they are all together all the time. Yeah, so they probably know, but it's not something like we would announce to them because we like, don't... Hi guys, we are a gay couple. Yeah, we don't feel like that's necessary. But our neighbors at the country house know for certain, because when Tommy lost his wedding ring, I told our neighbors okay. that Tommy lost his wedding ring and it looks exactly like this one, <laughs> like mine, because uh, our neighbor wanted to mow the clover on our field, so I had to tell him that please look out and maybe you'll find our wedding ring. Yeah. But maybe he just thought it was a coincidence, <laughs> double wedding or something, you know, No. With, with two of our wives that never show up. And there was another neighbor uh, at our fence or something and I was talking with him and then Tommy came and he was like, oh, someone is coming. And I said, yeah, that's my husband, <laughs> so he knows. And it's a small village, so <laughs> I think everyone <laughs> yeah. knows by now. Definitely. <laughs> and you mentioned the wedding ring, number 10. Yeah, have you found Tommy's wedding ring yet? We haven't. <laughs> it's still lost somewhere in the clover on the field. And it's like, it's impossible to yeah. find. Maybe during winter, when there isn't the weed and the clover and no snow. <laughs> <laughs> but we think it's lost forever. Yeah. Like, I don't think we will ever find it. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. So we will have a new one made in the future, but we don't have to waste the money on it now. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, do you have any travel plans? So. 
Some of you might know that we love to travel. We post a lot of travel pictures on Instagram, for example. But uh, this year we haven't been abroad at all, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's really unusual for us. Yeah, and for obvious reasons, right? And uh, now that the coronavirus situation is over in our country, we could travel. Uh, starting from July, basically, we can travel within Europe or the European Union without any restrictions, mm -hmm. or almost no restrictions. Yeah. Uh, but we're not in a hurry. And we have, we have the country house now, so we have a lot of work there and we spent a week of vacation there as well. Mm -hmm. We can explore the surroundings of the country house and we were thinking that maybe at some point we could make a road trip to Austria. But we don't have any plans at the moment because things change constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know what will happen in a few days or in a week. So we don't want to end up in a quarantine somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. But people travel already, yeah. like everyone is on vacation in Croatia or somewhere, so it's possible, but we'll see. Yeah. Have you ever been to the US? Yes, we yeah. have. Twice? Yeah, exactly. Or three times? No, twice. twice. We've, twice. Been, we've been to North America three times, but uh, the first time it was just in Canada. Mm -hmm. And then the next two years we visited the US as well. And we covered a long distance, actually. We made a road trip from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, all the way down to San Francisco. And we made like a circle back. And we visited 10 national parks along the way, mm -hmm. which was amazing. Yeah, that was great and intense. Like, every day something different. Yeah, yeah one day dying of heat in Death Valley. And then two days later, hiking in snow yeah. in, a, in another national park. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that was that was really cool. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. So we started in Calgary because Tommy's brother lives there. Mm -hmm. That's why we have traveled to Canada three times, and we used the opportunity and traveled across the U.S. But there is still a lot of area to cover, mm -hmm. of course. So we'll be back probably more times uh -huh. when it's safe. Yeah. So you guys wear masks and we'll be back. <laughs> Someone was asking if we both cook or if it's just Peter. <laughs> so I'm the main cook. Like kitchen is my area of expertise. Yeah. But our meals are usually quite simple and fast. And some of them are easy for Tommy. So when I'm at work, I have a day shift for 12 hours, uh, he usually prepares dinner or at least starts with dinner. So when I come home, I'm like, honey, I'm home. And Adriana is already cooking uh, on the stove. And sometimes it's the whole meal and sometimes I make the final touches. Yeah, because I'm not a very creative person. <laughs> so I, I love instructions, manuals, following everything step by step. So when there's a specific recipe, I can do it, I can follow it, but I don't like the final part when you are supposed to add all the seasoning, mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm not good at that. Yeah, so I always have to make a list exactly how much of pepper, how yeah. much of paprika, how much of everything, like it, it has to be exact for yeah, something. Yeah, nothing like a bit of, but three grams of. Yeah. Not a pinch of salt, Tommy has to know exactly. Yeah, because everybody has a different pinch. <laughs> okay, I think that was enough questions for this scenery. Okay? Okay. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> so, we have some more questions that we wanted to go through. So many questions. Yeah. So, your turn, one? number 14. Okay. How is your friend drawn? <laughs> uh, that's a funny question. Yeah, for some reason we received this question a few times. <laughs> it seems that he was a very popular guest star mm -hmm. in our video. Yeah. So we should probably invite him back yeah. <laughs> and film more stuff with him. Johnny, if you are watching this, we are waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. 
make sure California gets better so that you guys can travel again to Europe. Yeah, because you have a lot of fans, obviously, <laughs> they want to see you. Yeah. So, how is John? He's doing great, yeah. from what we know. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he sent us a picture yesterday from a beach, so it looks like he's doing great. Yeah, <laughs> so no problems. Yeah. Are you both natives of the country? So, as you guys know, we live in the Czech Republic and I am Czech, but Peter wasn't. <laughs> yeah, but I am now. So, I am originally from Slovakia, that's a neighboring country to the Czech Republic, and I got my citizenship last year. Yeah. Last year. Yeah, so I am Czech now as well. And we are native to the country. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a native, but you assimilated. Yeah, okay, so I assimilated. There was a whole ceremony where he promised to protect the country or something. Yeah, something like that. I got a rose, that was nice. Ooh. And I am Czech now. Do you have any pets? No. <laughs> we have plants, if it counts. I actually used to have Pet. I, had, I had a dog when I lived with my parents and it was mostly my mom and me who took care of her dog. We had a dog when I was a child, then I had a hamster and mice and also a cat, but nothing now. At the moment we feel like we wouldn't have time to take care of the pet. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we traveled a lot, so uh, it would be hard to take the dog with you or to ask somebody to take care of the dog. So we feel like it's easier for everyone if, we, if it's just the two of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Do you ever go to gay bars? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was quick. <laughs> I was once, a few years ago, because we have a friend that really likes to go there, but we hadn't been before. And this time I was like, okay, I will go, I want to check it out. And it was fun, nice music, I danced a lot, but that was it, like nothing special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was uh, in a few gay clubs before I met Peter, but yeah, it's, it's not for me or for us, because we are both introverts and we prefer peace and quiet and being either at home or somewhere in nature. Yeah. That's more our scene. Mm -hmm. So it's not the gay bars, but bars. in general <laughs> bars, yeah. We don't go out much. Yeah. Does Tommy have a master's degree like Peter? <laughs> you mean like in meteorology? <laughs> no, I don't. Or any other master's degree. <laughs> I actually moved to Brno to study at a university, but I quickly abandoned those plans because I didn't like it. Tommy is not persistent. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't like theory. I'm, I'm a hands-on guy. So I like doing something and learning from experience. I don't like studying. It's so boring. Yeah, so, so I, I quit the university. I tried again, like a year or two later, and I lasted a little bit longer, but again, I got bored of it. Uh, and then I started working and I prefer that much more. Mm -hmm. But I have to tell you, Tommy is really smart. <laughs> uh, there is this organization, or what is it? What is it? I don't know if you are familiar with it. It's called Menza and it's for very smart people. Only 5% of the population. Two, but okay. Okay, 2% of the population are in Menza because you have to have IQ above what? But in the top 2% of your country. Okay, in the top 2%. And Tommy did the test and he got in. So I have a master's degree, but Tommy is actually a lot smarter oh. than me. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm just more logically smart, maybe. Yeah, he's like a Vulcan from Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. What language do you speak to each other when the camera's off? So we speak to each other in Czech and Slovak, right? That's quite interesting that our languages are very similar mm -hmm. and people understand each other. So Mostly. when someone talks in Slovak, Czech people understand him 
and vice versa. Yeah, we, we kind of created our own combination of those languages. So, mm -hmm. so we both speak Czechoslovak now, uh -huh. <laughs> like a mixture of, of those two. Yeah. And uh, we even throw in some English, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which we got usually from TV shows. So when we find some quote funny, we keep saying it in English, even though we otherwise speak in Czech or Slovak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but since we started YouTube, we found out, or mostly me, that English is not as easy as I thought. Uh, so we started to talk to each other in English more. Yeah, so we could practice. So we could practice, yes. Yeah, so that's all the questions we had. Oh yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, that's all you asked. <laughs> but you can ask more in our comments and we'll make sure we answer those questions as well. Mm -hmm. Either in the comments directly or we'll shoot another video. Yeah. Okay, so like this video, comment below the usual stuff. You can share with a friend so more people can discover our channel. And subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed yet. And see you guys next time! Bye! Bye!